Welcome to your latest Met Office updates. We're looking at a fine day for the vast majority through the rest of today. Warm spells of sunshine in most places dry, but there will be one or two heavy showers, uh, particularly across parts of the south. And there's a lot of cloud just continuing to spill in from the North Sea across parts of eastern England, where it's been fairly glum for a number of days. And then around the Irish Sea coast, it's quite a misty, murky start. The west coast of Wales also starting fairly grey. That mist moving back to the coast through the course of the day. It's in the far south where we're most likely to see some showers, parts of Hampshire, Dorset especially, maybe South Wales. Uh, Devon and Somerset too. Very hit and miss, but where they do occur, they could be pretty lively. These eastern counties of England staying fairly cloudy and with a breeze, although not as strong as yesterday, still coming in from the North Sea. That's going to suppress temperatures. If it stays misty around the coast in the west, temperatures will be lower as well. But for many inland areas in the sunny spells, pretty warm really. Temperatures widely over 20 Celsius, 24, 25 uh, likely to be the top temperature this afternoon. Still one or two of those um, scattered, but heavy showers across the south through the evening. Otherwise, most places dry. The cloud thickening once more across eastern England overnight, so a bit of drizzly rain is likely here and there. For many, it's a, a dry night, again, turning quite misty and murky uh, in some spots. And temperatures really varying depending on whether you've got the clouds or the mist or whether you've got clear skies. With some clear skies across northern Scotland, certainly rural areas well down into single digits. A bit of a mishmash then to start Friday, some low clouds, some mist, a bit of drizzle across parts of northeast England, an increasing chance of seeing some showers breaking out on Friday, more so I think than Thursday, particularly in the central zone. So the far south of Scotland, northern England, particularly northeast England, maybe the odd one across North Wales and East Anglia too. Where they do occur, again, they could be on the heavy side, but much of southern England, South Wales, dry, fine and sunny, and most of Scotland as well, certainly from the central belt northwards, will be dry, fine and sunny as well. And inland areas, again, with the sunshine, temperatures climbing up into the mid-20s in places. Cooler, where it stays a little cloudier, we've got those showers, and again, cooler around some coasts. Notice down to the southwest, however, cloud will be thickening. And there is an area of rain just starting to encroach. And that is signs of a change as we go into the weekend. So turning showery for Devon and Cornwall and parts of South Wales on Friday evening. And that is part of a weather system that's moving in more widely through the weekend. Low pressure taking control, bringing bands of potentially quite heavy showers during Saturday and Sunday. The winds are quite light, the isobars are quite well open, which means the showers will be slow moving. Where we see them, they'll be heavy, possibly thundery, but of course because they're slow moving it means that not everywhere will catch them and there will be dry and bright spells as well. For details on those heavy showers and potential thunderstorms, make sure you stay up to date with the forecast as we go into the weekend. Best way to do that is to make sure you're following us on social media.